Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ben Morgan and welcome to this HTML and JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial series, I'll start going over what objects are in JavaScript. And so let's begin. So let's first set up our HTML file. Uh, we gotta put the tags HTML, forward slash HTML. And I've shown this before. Um, script type equals quotes text forward slash javascript okay so all of our coding will be cut will happen between the script and the forward slash script tags okay so let's begin what is an object well you could say an object is a type of variable that can store multiple data types inside of itself. So for instance, you could have an object called person and the person could have both a string um, for its name, a number for its age, and say a function or a couple of functions for saying hi or something like that, uh, as well as an array. Um, you could have whatever number of object types you want inside an object. So <clears throat> let me show you how to create one. So to do that, you have to declare a new variable. So let's call it person, var person equals, and then use the keyword new, okay? So that says you're gonna create an object. Don't forget the new keyword. New, and then capital O object. Okay, so what that did was create an object with a constructor, it's called a constructor. And this object constructor is the basic object constructor in JavaScript that simply creates the variable as um, an object type. It does not give it any attributes. Later in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create your own constructor and give your person attributes or give your object attributes from the very beginning. So to give this person attributes, we could do uh, person.name, let's say it's Bob, person.age35, and I'm putting semicolons at the end of each. Um, and so the way that we give a person or an object attributes, okay, is we do the object dot and then the attribute that you want to give it. Okay, so this creates a new attribute and then you do equals and then the value for the attribute that you want to have. Okay, and so you can do this dot uh, method of declaring attributes for your object. Um, there's a second way. So you do person and in square brackets and then in quotes, um, whatever variable you want to give it. So say job. And then you close the string and the brackets. And then you do equals, and then just as before, you do whatever you want. So uh, you do builder. So we have Bob the builder. Okay. And so what if we wanted to access these? Well, it's pretty easy. Kind of the same way as uh, declaring them. So you do document dot write so that we can print it out and then you can say um, person dot name okay and then you can do plus space is a okay and then plus person and then job so this one sentence um, shows us two things how to access the name variable using the dot method of accessing attributes I guess and bracket method I guess you could call it of accessing variables and so both are equal equally important because both can be used in their own special ways this method is very useful if you're looping through an array because you could have a variable called like I or something and you could say person at variable I and you could just print out every single um, attribute in that person object so um, both are very uh, useful. So person dot right and so that should just say um, Bob is a builder and then let's do plus and then in, uh, angle brackets br uh, to add a break. Okay so now let's just go ahead and save this and run it. So what we do is file save as and uh, we'd save it somewhere where we'd remember it and you have to save it if you're in um, notepad, save it as all files, and just save this as basic, I don't know, objects, 
and then .html, because we're going to run this as an HTML file. So then what you're going to do is open up that folder where you saved it to, and you do right-click, open with Google Chrome. Uh, you can see I have the sentence, Bob is a builder, printed out. So there you go. That is the basics of creating an object in JavaScript. My name is Ben Morgan, and thank you for watching.